first edition of Bharat Vacha. Your thoughts on why this is a critical event? I think uh, not just this event, several events like these are the critical conversations that India needs to have with Bharat. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there is a there is a line that has divided India from Bharat while the two are one, they are integral. Uh, and it's not just a question of language. Uh, culturally, the two have started to mean two different directions, which are going in opposite directions. I think we need to bring it back. India is Bharat, Bharat is India. If India can be infused with Bharat, so much the better. And if the latest technologies, uh, engagements, etc. can infuse uh, Bharat, it is so much the better. I think the two should move at one, move as one. We seem to have given up on our ancient heritages, on, on the Bharat part of India. Uh, conversations like these revive it. Right. So, you spoke on the rise of a Rajasik nation. Uh, what is the quality that will help us manifest or channelize this rising Rajas? First thing is we need to become conscious, as I said, that uh, Sri Aurobindo has put it together that has applied the concepts of Rajas, uh, of Gunas uh, to individuals, uh, uh, to communities, to nations. So, uh, if each part of the nation, each citizen of the nation becomes conscious of this force that is all around him and her, uh, it, it will help. Uh, second thing is, not every citizen will be Rajasik. There will be some Tamasik, there will be some Sattvic. Uh, you need to recognize who you are, but also understand that where the destiny of our nation is moving. My sense is we are more, becoming more Rajasik. Uh, my, my, my sense is that this Rajas is going to be under the influence of Sattva. It's going to be good for, the, for, the, for our country, it's going to be good for the world. So, I think becoming conscious is the first thing. Having said that, if you do nothing, Prakriti will still do her work. Still do her job. Um, in your view, what are two policy reforms that you think a civilization in Bharat needs for this rising Rajas Singh? Nothing in specific. Like I mentioned, in every aspect of our activity, including policy, for instance, in entertainment, in sports, in um, army, in international relations, wherever you geopolitics, wherever you go, this Rajas force is already acting in us. Likewise, in policy, if you see over the last few years, we have come out with very good policies on the economic side. Uh, we have taken brave steps uh, on the cultural side, for instance, Article 370. Uh, we are continuing to engage with difficult conversations, for instance, the Uniform Civil Code. Uh, these will continue. Uh, there is no policy which is Rajasik or Tamasik. There are policies that, that sort of contain the nation. For instance, within the economic policies until 1991, the policies were there to keep entrepreneurs under control, keep businesses down, wealth was bad. After 1991, the change has begun. That change has accelerated from 2014. And today where we are is that entrepreneurs are respected. We have 100 unicorns uh, from our country, which is a big deal. Uh, there is wealth being created, there is energy everywhere. So, I think today the Rajasik force is driving the policies. Whether you like it or not, the policies will have to fall in line with the rising nation. Thank you so much.